Let's grow this thing, baby. Grow. Share this information. Share this information. Share this page. Yeah. Yeah. Share this information. Let's grow. Let's grow, nation, baby. How can you stop a tank with no key? Yeah. Can't stop a tank with no key, baby. Yeah. We're going to get this thing going one way or another. I appreciate everybody for tuning in to the nation. It is what it is out of the nights that cover me. Black as a pit from pole to pole. I thank God for my unconquerable soul in the fell clutches of circumstances. I have not winched nor cried out loud. Under the bludgeons of chance, my head is bloody, but I'm bowed. Beyond this place of wraths and tears looms with the horror of shit. And yet the minutes of years shall find. Find law nation unafraid. It matters not how straight the gates are charged to punishment with thy art stroll. I am the master of my faith. I am the captain of my soul. I thank everybody for tuning in to the nation. Thank you guys for supporting me here and there, everywhere, wherever you may be. Hit that like button. Here to share. Share, share this information. We out. You can't stop a tank with no key, baby. We're going to get this thing going one way or another. The YouTube Illuminati had tried to take me down, but we still here. We still in the mix. Shout out to everybody that's been following my page from day one. Look, we started this page on Law Nations 2.0 just the other day. And look at it right now. It's still growing. 896 people out there supporting the nation. That is what that speaks volumes, guys. That speaks everything out there as it relates to the Cowboys Nation. NFL and those who out there support me all day, even twice on Sunday, we're going to get this thing going one way or another. Nobody can stop the voice of the people. I'm here for the voiceless. And we're going to talk about this Cowboys football preseason game number two. We really need to see what these people are going to do out here come this second week. We all know that uh, we didn't see a lot of Rico, right? And Rico been catching his tail off during practice. This guy, like I said before, he's six foot eight. You just can't go out there and, and just say, I'm going to develop six foot eight on my own. No, only God can do that, right? That guy got some God healing. Let me tell you something. Let me slow down and grab myself a break right quick. When you're talking about Rico, I'm not talking about Suave. I'm not talking about anything else. I'm talking about Rico. Rico. Man, <laughs> this guy, all we have to do is figure out a way to insert this guy on the field when it's needed. And, and I'm telling you, this team, it looks totally different from last year. It looks totally different from the year before and the year before that. This team is young. They're hungry. A lot of people were talking about my guy, Pet Cat, uh, Michael Gallup, saying that he cannot create separation. We see that. And everybody trying to throw out the fact that, the, the 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 touchdown pass that he caught, it was more so that the DB looking back at the sun and not able to track the ball. This is what we call football, baby. Football is supposed to be like that. I can argue the fact that some of the greatest catches of all time all came from either a lucky throw by the quarterback, Dwight Clark, the quarterback Joe Montana was trying to throw the ball away. <laughs> My guy, number uh, 24, you know, Everson Walls were covering him pretty well. It's just that he was so happy to jump up and catch the ball. And it was remarkable. I think they're going to put a statue out there and sign, and sign his name out there uh, for having one of the greatest catches of all time for the 49ers. I mean, I'm sorry, the 49ers. And then on top of that, if we think about the Hail Mary, <laughs> wasn't that, pa wasn't that, that ball was passed underneath, uh, kind of sort of not all the way to him? So, look. Guys, miss me with the uh, excuses of the DB looking back at the sun. Why don't we as Cowboys Nation just look at the fact that Dak Prescott is our starting quarterback. Let Dak Prescott do his thing out there. And now we can see a guy that's cerebral, making his check downs, passing the ball when needed down the field. And also, did I mention Ezekiel Elliott? When Ezekiel Elliott get out there on that field, oh my goodness, my goodness, it's going to be medieval. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, I'm just going to give a shout out to the first person who laid wood on Law Nations 2.0 because I'm not able to go live on Law Nations, uh, the regular page, because of the, the YouTube Illuminati, however we want to call it. But we're still here to party, right? 
Uh, it says Ethan Rose. Shout out to you for being the first person that's in the Law Nations 2.0 and Cowboys X Factor. Throw up the X, maybe. Uh, he's uh, second place, and uh, he's second place twice. <laughs> you know, that's cool, man. <laughs> I'm not even going to mention you, uh, Andrew. I'm not going to mention you, Andrew. You disappointed me, Andrew. You, you're in fourth place. You're in fourth place. <laughs> but shout out to you anyway. Um, who we got over here on the Facebook panel, the elite panel. That's who I call you guys over here on the Facebook. Guys, don't forget to share this information. Share this information. Share this information to your friends, your foes. Yes, Jamal Anderson, we live like 95. Zach Williams, shout out to you. Scott, shout out to you. Dustin, what's going on? Is Garrett stuck on having Rico as a block? That's the problem. If we stuck and we put our mind to only one side of the field, Jason Garrett, don't think about this. Just think about this alone. We saw setups, whereas we weren't lined up in a in a twenty-two personnel or a twenty-one personnel with the two with the two running backs and one tight end out there. I really think collectively we can still do that, even if you have a Rico. This is what I this is what I can envision what Rico can do. You can actually line Rico up into the slot and just say, "Hey, this is a mixed match right here." They're gonna have to try to put their what are you going to do? Are you going to put your linebacker on Rico? Or are you going to put your best slot corner on Rico? You can run your nine. You can run your, st your stem routes. You can out actually run your inside seam routes with Rico. Just just put them out there. I do know it show your hand a little bit when as it relates to um, passing situations because you know for sure you can pass. But, hell, you got Ezekiel Elliott. You got uh, my guy Alan Hearns. You also have other guys out there that can create separation too as well. We just need to figure out how to exploit the mismatches out there and allow the defense to think about that. You know what I mean? But a good question, man. Good question, Dustin. I, I really appreciate that all the time. I really do. You know what I mean? <laughs> shout out to you, man. But uh, um, uh, Abnormally, salute to you. Boomer Sooner, shout out to you too as well on my Law Nations 2.0 page. Hey, guys, this is the thing. What we need to look for is to figure out who's going to win the running back uh, backup situation. I do know that you can go ahead and staple and put in this, these, these guys right here. You can put in Ezekiel Elliott. You know he's not going anywhere, right? <laughs> Just come on. And then I think Rod Smith, he earned that. He earned every down that he's out there when he playing. Number 45, if you don't know who he is. And then on top of that, Jamez Olawale. I think he wears number 49. Remember that number, Jamez Olawale. You can line him up at H-back. He can catch out of the back backfield too as well. He can run in between tackles. He's a good uh, stop and go type of fullback and then he can block pretty well so you got a guy your three yet that's the three head monster now the wild card yeah i said the wild card is bo scarborough i love what bo can do and everybody knows that bo's knows bo knows it a lot as it relates to his down the field running attack and then I saw what he caught the ball with uh i want to say cooper rush he's very serviceable in that piece as as I, as you guys know, north and south is where Bo dominates. Now, if you really want the east and west guy, maybe you can lean more towards the Jackson guy, the guy that was on our team. I think he wears number forty four. You can lean towards him, and maybe if he can figure out a way, Darius Jackson. That's his name. Shout out to you, man, for telling me his name. Maybe you can lean more towards a Darius Jackson, and don't sleep on number thirty four. But outside of that. We have to go back to the drawing boards and say to ourselves, do we roll with four running backs or do we go with three running backs and add in to Rico? That can be the that can be the conundrum. Do you go with Jamez Olawale or do you go with the Rico? Let me know in the comment section whether or not you're going with the Rico Suave. I used to call him Zeus, but shout out to Shango too as well. You guys see his picture on the back behind me. This guy providing all of the highlights, all of the film sessions uh, out here. I'm going to be breaking down some of those films later on tonight. Don't forget to subscribe to his page. Follow his page. I'm talking about he's the godfather of YouTube. This guy is the reason why I'm on YouTube as, as we speak right now. So follow his page. I'm going to have the link in the description box once this video has been posted. Let me reach over to my Facebook panel, the, the FB in the world. What's going on, uh, Vincent? Shout out to you, Zach Williams. Dustin, what's going on too as well? Uh, what are you saying, uh, Dustin? Uh, Law, everybody wants Earl, but I think a defensive tackle is much needed. Yes, a defensive tackle for this team is much needed. Uh, we need somebody that can collapse the, uh, the interior of that pocket. It will make life 
for the LVEs of the world and the Jalen Smith. This is my thing with LVE. I was doing a film session on him, and I just didn't get a chance or get around to posting it yet. This guy right here, he's explosive as it relates to range. He can cover well out in space. He's everything you want to see out there as it relates to um, playing the middle linebacker. You, and especially in the cover two scheme, uh, th that's the most um, – the weakest spot in your defense as it relates to cover two is the middle of the field when you're running those seam routes. And as of lately, we do know that Jalen Smith has just been just out of this world nasty. But if you can add in and sprinkle in what a um, – man, my God. If you can add in this LVE, a guy that can cover out there in the middle of that field and take away that option, it will be nice. Now, this is the thing. Shout out to KJ uh, Rose. I see you, man. Salute to you all day. Salute to you. Uh, Brandon Cortez, too, as well. Thank you for tuning in to the Law Nation 2.0. Appreciate you. Uh, this is the thing, guys. When we now step in this thing up and you add in the LVE, uh, the, his ability to maybe this is the thing. This, I have to say this, and I hate to say this. Sean Lee, there's no way that I feel I can feel comfortable. I don't know if you guys can feel comfortable having LVE and I mean not LVE and but Sean Lee in for 16 weeks. I just don't know if that can, that's going to happen. I just don't know. But one thing I do know for sure is that we grooming this guy number 55 double nickel LVE. We grooming double nickel to play somewhere on the defense. Although he's having all his reps from the second team, and a lot of people saying that he's slow footed and he's, he just looked like a <laughs> a trash can full uh, on fire out there, and he's just really not doing anything. But this is the thing with LVE. I think that he's studying, he's studying, he's processing everything. And once LVE understands everything that he needs to do, then we'll see that speed, that pace picking up. Uh, camp notes from uh, last week, they said he got an interception. That was pretty nice. And then he also was forcing fumbles out there. So I'm really thinking that, hey, once he goes over that rookie hump, and I'm thinking that maybe, and just maybe, this will be the game, this second game around, believe it or not, things begin to look a little bit slower for him. He did go out there on the interview and said, well, hey, preseason is a little slower than what I expected. I wish he'd have hushed his mouth, but neither here nor there. <laughs> we'll see how this thing is going to unfold and unravel from here. All right, so uh, what we have here, Keith or Jamez, this is from Abnormally. Uh, at this point, I guess you're talking about the, uh, this is from my Law Nations 2.0 pages. Guys, don't forget to follow that page because my main page, my main Law Nation page, I would not be able to go live on that page until November the 7th. So in the meantime, in the between time, I really appreciate you guys for subbing into this account. But the best thing that you guys can do is just share this information. Share, 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 share. He's saying uh, abnormally. And I must admit, that's a cold YouTube name, right? right? Uh, he says, Keith or Jamez Olawale. I'm telling you, I like Keith, old school blocker. He wasn't going to give you a lot off the backfield catching the ball. But if you can sprinkle that in now with Jamez Olawale, his ability to block and catch out of the backfield, it creates all types of problems. Now you can la line up in a pro set. You guys think about this pro set now. Have Ezekiel Elliott on one side of the field and have uh, Jamez Olawale on the opposite side. And now you can you can do the fake handout. This, this just makes that play action just even sexier. We all know that the uh, safety like to come down into the box when they see number number 45 or when, it, when they see uh, Ezekiel Elliott number 21 down in there. And we saw that big play to my guy Michael Gallup. Uh, 45 line out into the actual uh, slot position. We all know that when you see 21 line up into the slot position, that's going to roll the coverage. That's going to roll the defense to that side of the field. Now you're talking about a guy. There's a surgeon out there. And that's Dak Prescott. I know a lot of people saying that, that the man got a noodle arm. But now that all you have to worry about is a, a, a third of the field or a half of a field now, come on now, it's going to be medieval. It's going to be nasty. And just for that, man, I just got to get crunk just one more time for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to find out all you guys' questions so I can answer these questions. Yeah, I see you, Dustin. I see you, man. Vincent, what's good? 
Rod and Bo, yeah. All right, I got my mind together. I got my mind together now. <laughs> yeah, Rod and Bo, man. Rod and Bo combination. Yes, yes, yes. But uh, the Cincinnati game, this is the thing. I'm looking for this defense to step it up. I'm talking about the uh, the lower half of the defense. Our front defense looked pretty good. I'm talking about the first team defense. Second team was all right. But the, the – uh, the third and the fourth string. I do know I hear a lot of, you know, kid you not, man. The the game is on my Patreon. Go follow the Patreon link. It's down in the link uh, description box down below. I had a lot of people telling me that the 49ers won. The 49ers won. And a few collective Cowboys fans, too, as well. They were saying, like, oh, man, the Cowboys are still the same. They lost the first preseason game. And I had to remind them that the uh, 2008 or 2009, one of those teams of the Detroit Lions won every preseason game you can think of. And they won by a margin of 17 points. And everybody was saying, okay, this Megatron guy, this, this Matthew Stafford or whoever at the quarterback at the time, this would be the team. This would be the team they were going to win the Super Bowl and I'm going to remind you guys that that exact team went 0 and 16 so move remove all of the win aspect out of preseason and just think let's put your grown pants on and think about this right here think about this the evaluation of the first quarter in the second quarter in the third quarter, in the fourth quarter, of those who are out there playing and seeing who can actually throw the ball, who can run in between tackles, and who can get the ball when it's in the air as it relates to INT. That is what we need to have out there. It's not about the win and loss column. It's not about the play calling and duties and all this stuff. It's all about, okay, well, when I go up into a 23 personnel, will this particular package work? Or when I'm in a goal line, will this 21 package work better? Or would I just take out all of the tight ends, go 20 personnel, and let's see if these guys can punch it in for the touchdown? That was matter in the preseason game, not the win-loss column. I have to just bring that out there to you guys. All right, so uh, on the Facebook no, I'm going to jump over to the YouTube world. Uh, Andrew Castillo says, uh, my guy, Randy Gregory, putting in work today. All right, got a, got a sack. Already got a sack. Randy Gregory. Randy Gregory, is he in football shape? I can argue and say yes. Now, this is the thing with Randy Gregory. We need to see a level of consistency with him. Although he's making his moves, he's doing his jabs out there as far as practice, but we still need to see the explosion. Now, granted, if he don't get no sacks at all coming to the Cincinnati game, but I want everybody, everybody that's out there right now, I want you guys to pay close attention to 94. If he getting home, if he getting close to the quarterback, he may not get the sack, but I want, I really want him to create pressure coming off that edge. And we all know my guy, Big Game James. I'm on this page right now. We all talk about that bend. That bend when he comes across that edge and he comes and he rips that, that, that ball out of the opposition hand. That speaks volumes, guys. And shout out to Silver and Blue Nation. Their new logo, I'm talking about it's ready. It's sweet. It's nasty. I love that. It got a lot of tenacity. Thank you for tuning in to the Law Nation film session with that uh, logo. And also, I'm on the Dallas Prospect Show, too, as well. Uh, Phantom. Shout out to uh, Phantom. Go follow their page, EBSN Online. Hey, everything Buckeyes. You know, follow their page. We got a tons of networks that we're on, and I really want you guys to tune in to them. Hey, Quest for – look at this name. Man, these names, boy, on, on the YouTube – Quest Cowboy 6. We're going to get there one way or another, right? What's up, Law Nation 2.0? <laughs> ready for anything. Yes, boy. We ready. Bring it. We right here. And we ain't going to win anywhere. We right here. All right. Any more questions on my... I really want to check out the... Uh, let me see if I can do this. Uh, give me a few seconds here. I'm going to see if I can pull up the uh, Silver and Blue Nations. Because uh, I'm telling you guys, I apologize that I'm not able to read your comments. I know you guys live over there. I know you guys because I'm on your channel. I'm on your network. I'm going to pull up Big Game James, and I'm going to pull up what we have out here in the chat box. I got to do it the <laughs> the way of reading through my, my cell phone. Uh, Mario, shout out. I'm just going to give everybody a shout out. Is that cool with you guys? Mario, 
uh, Tony Owens, uh, Jackie Ford, shout out to you. Jay Murray, man, shout out to you on the Big Game James page, man. Shout, shout out and salute to you, man. Thank you for tuning in to the uh, to the nation. And I'm going to jump over to the Silver and Blue, too, as well. I really appreciate you guys, man, for rolling with the dog, man, rolling with me. Appreciate you, man. Let me see if I can find that link. There we go. There we go. I'm live like 95. Uh, Gregory, what's up? Shout out to you, Terrence, James, Jones, Jr. Man, the junior in the mix, man. Daniel, Anthony, man, salute to you. And uh, Mike. Mike, what's up, Mike? What's going on with you, man? Mike Woe, shout out to you, too. We got so many mics in this thing. <laughs> but all I need is one mic, one mic. <laughs> Seven reasons. Oh, man, that's one of my favorite numbers uh, on my YouTube page. Uh, this dude, you seen him at the vitamin shop. What's up? Oh, you the dude I saw at the vitamin shop, man. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you, Seven Reasons. Uh, the X Factor 2, Brown or Lewis. Ah right now are you meaning you asking me about brian brown brown or lewis is joe come on man come on man it's always gonna be lewis man hip pocket lewis <laughs> jordan hip pocket lewis always gonna be him tanner craig shout out to you uh let me go back to the law nations facebook panel man shout out to everybody that's there jo jamal anderson i cannot leave you off the list and uh appreciate what you uh Law, I can't wait for the season. Yeah, we all can't wait for the season. Um, who else we have? Barry B, man. Shout out to you, man. So, in closing, guys, this is what we really want to see with this second preseason game. Yeah, yeah, Tanner, thank you too as well. You're a part of the mix. This is the thing. This is the thing right here. And um, oh, I've got one more page I got to before I close out of this thing. Let me glow right here. Come on, phone. Wake up. Wake up, phone. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. If I had um, cancel this right here, D D Dallas prospect. I forgot to jump and give everybody love here on this page. Every legend was once a prospect, guys. Every legend. Shout out to those that's in the chat box there. Um, hey, this is the thing. This is the thing. Every legend was once a prospect. You go to that website, it's ddallasprospect.com, and you'll see a tons of information as it relates to football, the Dallas Mavericks, the whole nine. There's any anything, any and everything that's in that area, just go and follow that page. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Just don't meet me there, beat me there. And you just don't hesitate. Just join in and you then will say, hey, congratulate, because there's so much good things out there. Uh, and also, don't forget to share this content. Share, 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 share as much as you can and give that like button a thumbs up. Uh, this is the X Factor uh, tube. He says, seeing what Barry Church is doing in Jacksonville, would you rather have Church or Frazier? I think that Frazier have still a higher ceiling. I think that Frazier is able to hit you and you feel it. I like what Barry Church is doing out there in Jacksonville. But we're going to see now the growth factor, X factor, to of my guy, Kayvon Frazier. I really think that he's the enforcer. He's the anvil. He is our poor man's cam uh, chancellor. And uh, hey, no pun intended uh, uh, to that, but... I think that he can drive home and he can be that enforcer. The only problem, the only problem that I have with this, with, with any of the safeties, Jeff Heath and also the, uh, the Kayvon Frazier, it's a new NFL rule, the hitting rule, where you, you, know, you can barely slightly bend your head and the, ref, and the refs like to throw their flag everywhere and hit you with the whistle and stuff like that. That's my only draw. You know, that's the only thing that I just don't like about that. But outside of that, everything else uh, – I really like what Kayvon Frazier is able to bring to this team. And I think that he will be the anvil, the enforcer. He will make you think coming across that middle twice and say, you know what? I do not want him to light me up like a Roman candle or uh, fireworks on New Year's. So I'm just going to drop this ball quite quick. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's just something about being that enforcer, that runny light. Run a lot type of deal, Brock Marion. If you want to stick to the Cowboys, George Teague, um, and we all know that uh, Woody used to lay the thunder too as well. Dak is the MVP. Say prime time. Yes, yes, yes. Dak is the MVP. Um, I don't know if it's Suwani Boy One Three, 
I live in Florida. Got to watch some practice. He's doing good. Yeah, let's appreciate that. Uh, say prime time. All five of our all line, all line will go to the Pro Bowl. That would be nice. That would be really nice. Uh, the only weak link that we have on our offensive line is the rookie. You know, he's still learning. I think that um, I think that he's going to pick it up eventually down the line as far as his strength. I just heard him off 105.3, the fan. He was talking about he's on a weight. He's trying to make his weight. He's trying to gain a little bit more pound so that he can go through this rigorous season. And he's seeing that he's getting his butt whooped a little times in, as it relates to the inside. Hopefully... He can get that weight up, and then we can see what we can go with from there. Uh, that's pretty much uh, all of the uh, quick end caps that I have. I got to dive into this film. I'll break down the film that you guys see behind me, as well as I got some film from last night that I broke down, and I really want uh, to put that out there before the season, before this uh, game goes. Uh, all right, Tavon Austin may lead the team in yards uh, from scrimmage. This is from Barry B. I really think so. Oh, man. I appreciate you guys for making me hit 900 on the Law Nation 2.0. Man, that, that, that speaks volume, guys. Let me just jam on up. Let me jam it on up. Power up, Law. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. You guys know I said out of the nights to cover me black as a pit from pole to pole. I thank God for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutches of circumstances, I have not wenched nor cried out loud. Under the bludgeons of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wraths and tears looms but the horror is shed. And yet the minutes of years shall find. And find law nation unafraid. It matters not how straight the gates or how charged the punishment with thy art stroll. I am the master of my faith. I am the captain of my soul. And remember, you guys are listening to nothing but the bass. Salute. We out. Yeah. Let that beat drop in one more time. Gotta get your mind to it. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or lied about, don't deal in lies or hate it and yet give way to hating. And yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. If you can think and not make thought your aim. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. If you can better hear the truth you spoke and twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools. Or watch the things you gave your whole life for broken and stooped and build back up again with worn out tools. If you can start again at your beginnings and never breathe one word of your loss. And you my friend has understood what it takes to be a man. Yeah. Let's pack them up, baby. Let's pack them up, baby. I really appreciate all you guys for tuning in to the nation. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this content, and also with that being said too as well, I got a podcast. If you're driving on the road, you're traveling around, you still want to listen to the nation, go ahead and plug in that podcast. That's L-A-W, Nation. And you really want to catch all these football games. If you really want to see everything that I be doing on the back scene, join the Patreon. Yes, you can find four quarters somewhere, help a brother out. Reach down into your grandmother's couch, grab those four quarters, donate it to the nation, baby. That's really all the time I have for today. Peace. I'm out.